Hello my friends, welcome to the very first video for Vlogmas, which is a video a day for the entire month of December. I'm really excited to bring you these videos and today's video is going to be about the top three things that you need to look at when you start to have cravings. So let's talk about that. First off, I'd like to say that I'm really happy to be back on YouTube filming these videos and the reason why I wasn't able to film any in the last couple months is because of my new dips and dressings book that I just recently released. This is the print version and it has 117 recipes in it. Uh, and it's sectioned out so the first half or the first third is no fat added the second third is low fat so just using seeds and coconuts and the last chunk is all the higher fat dressings and if you wanted if you're sticking to the lower fat or whatever you can always use these higher fat dressings to take to parties or family gatherings or you know help somebody else to eat healthier and you can even enjoy them in small quantities with lots of fresh produce but yeah so this is the new book and it took me a little while to make it but I'm really happy that it's ready print version is available on Amazon and you can get the ebook version right here you can follow this link or find the link in the description if you want to get your hands on the ebook version or again you can just put my author name Melissa Ramondi into the search bar on Amazon and you can find all my books so that said let's get started with talking about the three things that you have to look at when you start to have a craving there's three reasons three main reasons there is another reason um, that I'll talk about in a different video. But the three main reasons when you're alone or when you're just going about your day, three things that cause a craving, well not really cause a craving, but are involved in that. So the first one is that you're hungry. So if you're having a craving, the first thing that you should always ask yourself is, am I hungry? Because most of the time, if your body requires the energy, it's gonna just give a signal to your brain and say, hey, I need some food. And you're gonna start craving everything and everything, especially if you haven't eaten in a little while, or you've skipped lunch or skipped breakfast, and you're not fueled up for the day, you set yourself up for cravings. So if you are having a craving and you just, you're like, oh, I just go for some pizza or whatever, just eat something raw vegan um, healthy grab some fruit go chop up a quick salad do something to fuel yourself because that's the number one reason why we crave is because we need fuel the second reason why we tend to crave is we get really 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 stressed out so you come home from work after a really really stressful day and all you want to do is throw pizza in the oven or grab a bag of chips or you know eat some popcorn or whatever if you had a really stressful day we tend to want something to numb ourselves from the stress and feel like we had a reward so you come home from work after a stressful day and you're like well I deserve it because I had a stressful day but you don't actually deserve to give yourself something that is going to hurt you you deserve to pamper yourself you want to pamper yourself with the best foods possible and the best time to do that is when you're stressed out so when you're stressed out instead of looking towards food again fall back on the number one obviously you're probably hungry so you want to eat but if it's from stress and you find that eating isn't really helping you want to do some things that are going to relax you instead of using food to fill that or to comfort you you want to do something else that's going to comfort you so do some yoga relax dance meditate go for a little bit of a walk maybe chop your salad for dinner uh, and meditate while you're chopping your vegetables you could do a nice bath maybe you could take a quick nap these are all things that you can do and there's whatever you feel that de-stresses you maybe your significant other gives you a massage or something even if it's really simple do something that will help to relieve the stress and even if it's like a conflict at work or a conflict in a relationship de-stressing might be communicating with that person or trying to resolve the issue so that you don't have worry further on during the day because this can also cause you to want to just numb yourself with food and of course we don't want that because we want to be moving forward with our healthy lifestyle not stagnating or going backwards the third thing that you need to look for and this one isn't always noticed but for the most part when you eat like chips or you come home and you're bored you're bored you want to fill something you're filling a void that you're not filling with what you actually need 
and food is just a temporary filling of the void. You need to find what that is that you need to fulfill yourself. So this can be anything like creative. You could go for a workout, you could build your body, um, draw, create some music, uh, creating anything really, painting, photography, uh, sewing, crochet, you could study a new language, maybe you're studying to further yourself in your career, you could focus on that. You need to find something that is going to fulfill you and better yourself instead of filling yourself with these foods that you're, you know, you're falling back on because you're numbing yourself and you, you've, you've come into this place where because you're not creating and you're not fulfilling yourself, you need something to fill yourself. So you want to ask yourself, what is it that I need to fulfill myself and what can I do, what can I create that will help to deal with those food cravings? So first off, always make sure you eat because again, that's the number one reason why people tend to crave things. Number two, de-stress yourself. Take a nap, do some yoga, meditate. All of these things are really good. They also better yourself, so it's a bonus as well. Maybe you get fulfilled. Maybe you can hit it at two angles. You can meditate while you draw or meditate while you paint or do some yoga or do an exercise that builds your body. These two kind of connect together, so you want to make sure that you find how to de-stress and how to fulfill yourself, and sometimes they uh, combine. So I hope you guys liked this video and if you did please click like and subscribe to my channel to get notifications for more. You can click the little bell to get notifications sent directly to your email whenever I upload a new video which again will be 30 more videos after this one for the entire month of December. I'm so excited to share them with you guys. Uh, so yeah you can find me on Facebook Lissa's Raw Food Romance, on Instagram at Raw Food Romance and on Snapchat Lissa Raw Vegan and go pick up your copy of these amazing recipes they're so good so good and i loved doing the photographs for all of these head on over to amazon or go to the link to grab your ebook copy and until the next video guys i love you all fruit on